Hi everybody, I'm here today with Priyanka Nutaki who has just got a uh, official confirmation from the uh, arbiter here at Rilton Cup that she has secured her maiden WGM norm. Congratulations Priyanka. How are you feeling right now? Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh I know you're happy, but you're not showing your happiness. So uh, tell me, how do you think your tournament went? I think I could have done better, but it, the start was not so great. Mm. But yeah, the end was uh, nice. It balanced. So uh, actually, can you walk our viewers a little bit through your games? As in, uh, maybe not the technicalities, but uh, the uh, the wins and the losses. You had a slow start, right? Yes. So what was it in the first round? Uh, you you won. No, no. First round I lost against the tenth seed of this tournament, Volko Sergi. Okay. And, and then the second round. I lost against a lower rated in a clearly better position. Okay, and then the third round? Uh, third round I won. Okay, and then the fourth round? Uh, four, third and fourth rounds I won and uh, when was after, yeah, I think uh, that y this uh, new year started off well. Okay, so after a slow start, you basically picked up momentum and then you just kept going. So Priyanka, when you actually lost against that lower rated player, what do you tell yourself to get back because you know there's no time to waste you have to be ready for the next day so how do you tell yourself or prep yourself uh, i actually i was really upset after my second round game but then i was like okay there's nothing that we can do in now so i was like take one game at a time that's all yeah and the good thing about this tournament is that even if you lost uh, your second round you got a pretty decent player in the third round too right yes. so the rilton cup is very very good tournament to play uh, if you you know still have a chance to come back and make norms because every round you're getting paired against a very high rated player i think the average elo rating of this tournament is around 2345 mm -hmm. So very strong tournament and so your chances to come back are not really inhibited by a uh, early loss which is so fabulous and you made the most of it. <laughs> so uh, Priyanka can you walk us a little bit through your journey your chess journey like when did you start playing chess and uh, how did you develop into playing it uh, at such a high level? I started playing chess when I was seven years old. Okay. I played my first national and uh, Okay, I in under nine national the my uh, I think my uh, the journey actual journey started when I was eight years old. Okay. Then I uh, won under seven state and also under nine state. Oh, lovely! Which made my parents decide that okay, let's give her a chance and I stop schooling for a year. Okay. And then I won under nine nationals. Oh, lovely! And then I won literally all the uh, tournaments in under nine like nationals. Who, starting from the district to world champion. Who 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 was uh, your coach at that point? At that point, my coach, my first coach was like uh, VR Baba from Vijayawada. Okay, and you took that gap year and you won uh, under nine world youth. Under as in, you you youth. became the under ten world youth champion. Yes. Oh, that's fabulous! So that entire year was just winning medals for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then what happened? Uh, and then uh, I go. I won under 11, 13 nationals as well. Wow! But then I couldn't do well in Asian and world. Okay. Though in 2013 I got medals in Asian. Okay. So yeah. And uh, when did your journey towards uh, getting your norm start? Uh, I think in 2017 maybe. Okay. I uh, went to my first trip, a foreign trip. Mm -hmm. I mean which didn't go well okay. uh, so the next year in 2000 this year 2018 i, I played the same uh, i went to the same trip as before the catalan circuit oh uh, no uh, i played uh, nazdorf memorial in poland okay and czech Re czech open okay and riga open i see so i managed to score two norms out of these three okay like earlier i played dubai and charja events yeah where i got my first norm Okay, very good. And then, yeah, in Lithuania, I got my second norm. And then continued, I got like five norms. So you got five norms back to back. Yeah. After um, you got your first uh, WIM norm, you managed to get every other tournament you played was like a norm tournament for you. <laughs> 
so tell me how does that work priyanka like um, i don't know what, did you have like lot of misses because you know a lot of parents i talk to a lot of children and talk to players i talk to they they say oh my god i wished i missed it by a whisker you know i've heard this sentence so many times so have you also missed a lot of norm chances by a whisker um uh, w i am not really because i was really struggling before to get my first norm okay but once i got my first norm i got the confidence that if i can do it once then i can do it like two more times wow So I got that confidence, and then I got back-to-back norms. But the same thing, uh, the I missed my WGM norm in Riga Open 2018. Okay. okay. By a whisker. I don't know how. I still don't know how I missed it. Why? What was it? some technicality? Some technicality issues. Yeah. Oh, how too bad. So your uh, performance rating was out there, but there was something to do with. It was actually two three nine seven. Ah. Before the last round, and I drew with two four zero six. Okay. So I thought it must have. It'll like at least it'll get increased two points or something. Yeah, like decrease somehow. Oh gosh, which is uh, really oh okay. But uh, so it's been such a good journey for you. Uh, I mean, from the looks of it, it's a very easy journey. You make it look really easy, Priyanka. Uh, I'm very very uh, good, happy to hear. Uh, like you've been consistently performing. 2018 has been a great year for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe you're possibly uh, the highest rated player in your age category in India as well, uh, yes. right? Under seventeen, that is. Yes. Oh, that's great. So, where do you go from here? From here, I'm going back to Spain again, and then uh, I'll be playing Sevilla Open. Okay. And from then, I'll go to Gibraltar. And what about academics? I'm in eleventh right now. Okay. So. And you, so you finish your board exams, and yeah. then you got all your norms. Is that how it worked? <laughs> how fabulous! So you finish your tenth, and then you get your five norms. This is your sixth one for the year, right? Uh, yes. Wow, that's one fabulous year. Well, actually, this one we can say is a 2019 norm. So yeah, five I... five norms in 2018, and hopefully five more in 2019. <laughs> uh, we really uh, want to congratulate you, Priyanka. And uh, oh, by the way, I have to tell all our viewers, uh, she is a fabulous table tennis player. She was thrashing everybody at Sidges, and uh, I remember I thought maybe I should ask Priyanka to play with me. And then I, once I saw her play, I said, forget it. There's no way. It's going to be like a total duck game. So tell us, uh, uh, have you been coaching for TT as well? Um, no, actually, one year back I joined an uh, mm-hmm. academy in Ponur. Okay. A chess academy. I see. So, so there we used to play TT. Like I have no idea how to play and all. Acha. So my chess coach uh, teached me like how to play TT and all. Ah. Huh. And slowly I got better at it. Yeah, and quite good actually. So do you get time to like? Learn TT now, or you're just doing it out of out of fun? No, I'm just doing for fun. For fun, okay, great, uh, very good. It was really great talking to Priyanka, and we wish you all the best for your journey. Uh, hopefully, we'll see uh, you become a WGM real soon. Thank you. Thanks so much.